Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video is going to go through the answers for the ones, tens, hundreds and thousands more or less worksheet and talk you through some of the tricky bits. Question one. Starting with the number represented by base 10, which I've put here, complete the calculations. The first step then is to work out what number it is that's represented by the base 10. We have three thousands, we have four hundreds, we have two tens and two ones. So that together will make 3,422. 3,400, two tens, two ones. The first calculation then is to add 80. So we're going to add eight tens to 3,422. That will mean that we go into the next uh, 100. So it'll become 3,502. After that, we have to subtract 2,000. So we're taking two, th two of the thousands away from 3,000, that will leave us with 1,502. And then we have to add two hundreds. We have five hundreds ready, so adding another two hundreds will mean we have 1,702. Question two. Put these numbers in order from 1,592 to 3,092. The numbers increase by 300 and some have been covered. So we've got three numbers that we can see, including the smallest number that we're starting from, 1,592, and the greatest number, 3,092, and we have three other numbers covered up, as well as the 1,892 that we know is going to appear in the sequence somewhere. The first thing I've done is to write the smallest number on here, and we are increasing by 300 each time. So really, all we have to do is to add on 300 each time until we reach 3,092. Adding 300 onto this number then, and adding hundreds on each time, means that the tens and the ones shouldn't change. So all of our numbers should end in 92. It's only going to be the hundreds and the potentially the thousands that are going to change. So adding 300 onto this will mean we go from 500 to 800, so it'll be 1,892. And that is the second number that we can see that isn't covered up there. Adding 300 onto this then means that we're going to go from 800s, we're going to add on 200s to make it to 2092 and another 100 after that. So the next one will be 2192. Adding 300 onto that, so the 100s will become 400, so it'll be 2492. And after that, it'll be 2000. 792 and then adding another 300 on will mean we go into the next thousand so it'll be 3092 and that is uh, the number that we are aiming for for the end of the sequence so this is the sequence of numbers in order from smallest to largest going up in 300 each time question three match the calculation to the correct answer and we have three calculation statements, A, B and C, and three numbers on the right hand side. So we have to match each of the statements to the number on the right. That is the result of following the instructions in those calculation statements. So for A, we have to add 2000 to 6705 and then add 300. So if we have 6705 and we add 2000, that will give us 8,705 and then we have to add on 300. We're only going to be adding on the hundreds so the tens and the ones will say the same, it'll be no tens and five ones. If we add 300s onto 700s that will take us to the next thousand. So A will be 9,005. B we are subtracting 600 from 4,600 and 65. If we subtract 600, then we will just have 4,065 by taking away the 600s that are already there. If we add on 4, that will leave us with 4,069. We're only adding on 4 ones, so 4,069. For C, we are adding 3,000 to 1,205 and then subtracting 200. If we add on 3,000, that will take us to 4,000. 205 and if we subtract 200 that'll be 
4005. So when we put those numbers in, place the statements here, A was 9005, B was 4069, and C was 4005, and they match up with the numbers on the right hand side. Question four then is to complete the calculations. We have three calculations, A, B and C. So A is to add 40 to 5,778. To do this quite quickly then, if we can look at the number we've got, 5,778, we've got seven tens in the number already and we need to add four tens to it. If we have seven tens, then we know we can go up to the next hundred just by adding three tens. So if we add 30, three tens, that will take us to 5,000. 808 and then adding one more 10 will be 5818. For B we have 4155 take away 200. In this number here we have 100 in 4155 is take away 200s. If we take away just 100 that will take us to 4055 and then taking another 100 will take us down to 3000 955 and the last calculation is 1330 take away six we're taking away six ones we have no ones at the moment uh, we have win three tens 1330 so we're going to be down into 1320 something if we take away six away from that uh, six away from the ten that we have we have 1324 Question five is, Sinead thinks the number, what number did she start with? And Sinead is there saying that uh, she added 3,000 to it, subtract 70, add 4, then subtract 200, and my answer is 5,099. So she starts with a number, we don't know what that number is yet, and she followed through those calculations and she reached 5,099. What I've done is I've just started here with a question mark and I've gone through each step that Sinead did to reach 5,099. At the moment, I don't know what the numbers were that Sinead uh, reached at each point before she did the next calculation, but she started with a number, added 3,000, and that made another number. She subtracted 70 from that, that made another number. She added 4, another number was made there, and then she subtracted 200, and she reached 5,099. The best way really to go about working out what number she started with back here is just to go backwards through each of her steps. So we're going to go uh, and do the opposite or the inverse operation to each of the steps that she did to work out what number she started with back here. So here she started, she ended up with 5,099. To reach that number, she subtracted 200. So for us, we need to do the opposite, the inverse, and add 200. And that will give us 5,000. 299. And then Sinead added 4, so we need to subtract 4, which will give us 5,295. To reach that number, Sinead had subtracted 70. We're going backwards, so we need to do the inverse, and we need to add 70, and that will give us 5,365. And then the first step that Sinead did was to add 3,000, so we need to subtract 3,000, and that will give us 2,365. So Sinead started with 2,365. Okay, question six is complete the sequence. And we have uh, some numbers. We have 6,893, 6,863, blank, blank, and 6,773. It says, what is the sequence decreasing by each time? Explain how you know. So we look at the numbers here. We know it's decreasing because it says that in the information in the question. If we look at the first two numbers, 6,893 and 6,863, only one digit has changed, and that is the tens. So we've got a six, six thousands in both numbers, eight hundreds in both numbers, and three ones. The first number, though, has nine the tens and the second number has six tens that means that we've lost three tens so we were subtracted from nine three tens to make six tens nine tens take away three tens to make six tens so the sequence must be decreasing by 30 each time 
from the first two numbers. We can check that by filling in these two numbers here, uh, subtracting 30 each time, and we should be able to reach 6,773 if that is the correct sequence. So we're subtracting 30 to reach 6,863. If we subtract another 30, that would make 6,833. If we subtract another 30, so we've taken away another three tens, that would be 6,803. And if we subtract another three tens, then we would be into the 700, so it would be 6,773, and that would be correct. Question 7 says that Kelly says, when I add 600 to 2,799, I get 8,799. It says, correct Kelly's answer and explain her mistake. So we know that it is, it is wrong. She cannot be correct in that 2,799 add 600 makes 8,799 because it says that she's made a mistake. So we just have to work out where. Well, the first thing we can do is just to work out what the actual answer would be, and that would actually prove that she's made a mistake. So 2,799 add 600. We can start by adding 300 to move up to the next 1,000 to make that 3,099. And then add another 300. So we've added the, the, all of the 600, so we actually make 3,000. 399. So 2,799 add 600 actually makes 3,399. So we can prove that she's made a mistake by doing that calculation. So what mistake did she make then? How did she get 8,799 by adding 600? If you look at the number that she started with and the number that she has reached, her hundreds, her tens and her ones have not changed. It's only the thousands that have changed. And to change it from two thousands to eight thousands, you would add six thousands. So the mistake that Kelly seems to have made is she has added six thousand rather than six hundred. And that would actually explain how she has changed two thousand seven hundred and ninety-nine to eight thousand seven hundred and ninety-nine. That was a video for the answers for the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands more or less worksheet from Clash and Secrets. If you want to watch a video tutorial uh, for the skills for this resource, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for more resources linked to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.